primary goal of CASCAM at UNT is to provide uh, interdisciplinary opportunities for research, for research training, for outreach and education, and to provide this not only for faculty but for students and postdoctoral fellows, um, all the way from high school and junior high students to uh, graduate students. Advanced scientific computing is an emerging area of research, so we want our students to have the latest tools and techniques that they need to succeed once they leave UNT. We have top leading experts in a variety of the disciplines, from, ranging from chemistry to physics, to the material science, uh, to uh, mechanical and electrical computing engineering. The students will have opportunity not only to work with other computational faculties, and in the institute, but also they can work with people with experimental expertise like materials characterization, synthesis, and uh, also in the chemistry and physics field. So they learn the language on both the simulation side and experimental side. A lot of what we do with simulations is only applicable because we work with experimentalists, right? And that's a really important thing is that we're making sure that our simulations are always, you know, answering real world problems because we can do whatever we want in simulations, <laughs> but they have to actually matter. Um, and so that's a lot of what we do and what we work on is making sure that we're working collaboratively with different, with different professors and departments and students at UNT and outside of UNT. In the College of Engineering, they're carrying out incredible diversity of, of, of research. Everything from computational epidemiology, where, where colleagues are, are trying to determine what are the best uh, like meeting points if there's ever some sort of national disaster or disease outbreak. And they're working with a lot of city governments and, and uh, starting to work with states as well on, on this type of work. We also have people in, in, in areas like material science who are working on uh, materials in terms of you know, under extreme conditions and looking at things like, you know, what happens if, you know, how can we improve materials and how do we deal with aging materials for uh, aircraft design. And so a very, very wide spectrum of, of work goes on. So we have uh, funding from the Department of Energy, we have funding from National Science Foundation, we have funding from Air Force Research Laboratory, and we also have funding from uh, the semiconductor industry which is through the Semiconductor Research Corporation mechanism. So uh, all these are very helpful for us to grow uh, the research programs, in particular my group. And because my background is a glass and ceramic materials and computational material science, and uh, uh, many of the fundamental research were supported by National Science Foundation. Keen and the CASCAM laboratories, they're working with the military application related to the uh, Air Force needs in the uh, uh, development of the super alloy and the high temperature materials for the jet engine application. Those uh, materials are very complex in nature. They are, uh, consist of multiple elements, their structures in the complex, they have a defects which play an important role in uh, alloy life. And designing for these materials early and understand how to guide the processing of them to achieve the properties for, uh, needed for the military application, that's all the central experts are helping and uh, they connected with the experimenters here in the CART facilities and they were able to validate their models and move on uh, to advance this to the real world application. Uh, we're in a few national uh, centers for catalysis focusing on our work to convert petroleum and natural gas to more useful products. Uh, one center that we participate in is comprised of faculty from about uh, 16 different universities and you have everything from undergraduates just starting their research career to Nobel laureates and everything in between. So not only do you have this rich diversity of chemistry and engineering, but you have this rich diversity of uh, career positions that people occupy. UNT is great because it has a lot of support and you can really feel the passion of the people who work here in terms of trying to, you know, advance scientific research. There's a lot of great facilities, uh, not just in CART with access to SEMs and TEMs and et cetera, but also obviously because of CASCAM, the computational facilities are really great and they allow us to complete a lot of the, you know, the research we proposed and that we're working on to try to, try to improve things really has a lot of draw for companies and, and you know, giving students the opportunity to not, do not only basic research, but really get engaged in terms of research uh, and, and projects with, with companies. And so it's nice to give students the opportunity to do not only basic research, but also have the experience to do applied research and, and deal with some real world problems. Mm -hmm.